Hey everybody, it's Cynthia with Autism Society. So, what to do if you applied to long-term care and you didn't get in? Well, the first thing to make sure that you've done is that you watch our Autism 101 video and you've gone to our top six things to know and to do and downloaded all the documentation from number two, including the appendix. You want to make sure that you've actually read all the documents that the state uses to decide whether your child meets the criteria or not. Then you want to ask all techs for a copy of the PASS tool and your child's score to see what your score was. So to qualify for all techs, you must get 40 points. So if you got less than 40 points, that's why you didn't qualify. You're going to want to look and make sure that all the answers you gave were recorded accurately. You're also going to want to make sure that you got the medical diagnosis of autism. So they use a separate score sheet to decide if your child meets that criteria. And you can also find that on our website under the top six things to know and do under number two. So if you had less than 40 points, um, you might want to consider reapplying, um, especially if you feel like you didn't really understand the questions they were asking and you might not have given accurate information because you didn't really understand what was going on. So that's especially for someone who never saw the video, didn't read the appendix, that it might make sense to reapply. If, on the other hand, you know exactly what you were doing, you gave the answers that you complete were accurate, and then you see that you think their scoring was not fair, you might want to actually appeal their decision. And so if you're going to appeal, you're going to need to look at all of the points that you lost and why, and see if you have supporting documentation to support you getting those points. So um, you might need a, a speech eval, a copy of your speech eval or OT or your IEP, something that can demonstrate that your child is lacking the skills you said they were lacking and therefore deserve the points. Sometimes people are denied because of there's something in their IEP that is inaccurate or there's some reporting that may be inaccurate. So you need to read through all of your supporting documentation and make sure that it's completely accurate for what your for your child because sometimes that's not always the case and if there is something inaccurate you need to go back and have that repaired so um, the first thing is to make sure you watch the video to make sure that you uh, downloaded all the documents and read them and then make sure that you get a copy of the past tool that they used for your child and all the scoring and if your child um, was really close like some families we have had like 39.5 points then it might be reasonable to go to a um, appeal and try to fight for those those points but if you got a limited number of points and you feel like you didn't actually answer the questions um, uh, the way they were meant to be answered, then you can always reapply. So just remember, just because you didn't get in the first time doesn't mean that you can't get in. We've had many families apply three, four, or five times before they finally get in. And the criteria changes according to age, too. So you want to make sure that you've read the appendix, because um, the appendix goes all over from scoring from zero um, through 22 and uh, above. So you want to make sure that you've read all that documentation. I hope that helps. Thanks.